Hello and welcome to Awaaz the Voice Interviews. I'm Nazir Ghanai and we are joined by a very special guest, Director of Handicrafts and Handlooms, Mahmoud Ahmed Shah, who has uh, revived the uh, handloom sector in Jammu and Kashmir post his appointment into the department. There are many initiatives that he has taken so far and some of the young artists are now showing interest to come to your spaces and showcase their art. Uh, why was not this happening earlier? You know, um, we, we won't go to the past, but uh, one thing which I want to reiterate is that uh, in 2021, Sindhagar was declared as a UNESCO Creative City for Craft. So it became incumbent upon us to promote the craft and the craftsmen. Uh, so many initiatives have been taken by the government, which includes the unveiling of uh, handicraft and loan policy 2021. Then a uh, um, uh, number of schemes came to the fore. And uh, uh, one of the uh, attributes of this policy is that we need to promote the artisans. Mm -hmm. So how do you promote these artisans? We promote them through providing finances to them, uh, providing various incentives to them and also showcasing their products. So uh, we dedicated this gallery to uh, showcase the rich talent which is here. And uh, for the last two and a half years, we have been persistently giving platform to artists and artisans uh, sh to showcase their work. and. Uh, uh, since then, uh, we have launched the uh, uh, initiative called Know Your Artisan. Know Your Artisan. We need to glorify the artisans. Uh, they uh, form a very important segment of our society, and uh, um, uh, they need to uh, the limelight. They need to have the limelight, and they need to be glorified. So, as a part of um, the artisan glorification, we are running this program called Know Your Artisan. Mm -hmm. Until now, we have given space to a number of artisans. And hopefully we'll continue this program. So GI tag is one of the remarkable steps that has been taken, uh, you know, over the, over the time. And this has also received a huge response on the ground. People have really appreciated it. Is it going well with the other, uh, you know, artifacts and uh, crafts also? You know, uh, uh, Kashmir becomes the only place in the whole country whose all the merchandise is GI tag. So uh, we have seven crafts which are GI tag, and then we have additionally tag QR coded uh, seven more items. Mm. So entire craft basket is either QR coded or QR code and GI. Mm. So um, uh, one of the reasons uh, uh, was that why craft was a, on the nose dive was because of lack of certification. Mm. Uh, the customer trust was going down. Mm. So how do you rebuild uh, the customer trust? It could be rebuilt only by ensuring that the product which a person uh, purchases is genuine. So there is no better way of having this QR code which is very easy by virtue of your smartphone you can come to know all the attributes of a particular uh, merchandise so this has helped to bring a lot of uh, transparency into the system and has led to the building of customer trust mm -hmm. so we need to spread this message around more and more to amplify this message so anybody who wants to purchase a genuine um, uh, craft uh, should emphasize for gi tag so now that when Prime Minister Modi, you know, flaunts this Kani shawl or Pashmina shawl, so does it really help on the ground? Of does course, uh, he ha has been promoting uh, the uh, crafts of Kashmir uh, through his apparels, uh, by gifts and souvenirs he has been presenting across the world. Uh, that has really helped um, us in promoting the craft, uh, be it the ODOP basket which was gifted to uh, Bill Gates, uh, be it uh, the shawls he is don donning, uh, or uh, the, the gifts and souvenirs which have been presented to various uh, dignitaries across the world, mm -hmm. has really helped us in uh, ensuring the greater visibility of... So Kashmir. talking about the artist welfare schemes, many schemes are there but at the same time uh, some of the artists claim that they are not reaching to the artisans. There's a, there's a disconnect. Yeah. So what are you doing on no, that? The point is that the artisan, you have to first understand the artisan base. We have 380,000 artisans. Reaching up to 380,000 artisans is a huge Herculean effort which needs a lot of finances. Uh -huh. So it is practically not possible to address this issue, but uh, gradually we will be uh, reaching out to all, all of them. Mm. Uh, for example, just to quote a few examples is that uh, till now we have aggregated about 60,000 artisans in cooperative societies and we have given um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the financial uh, capital uh, to the extent of 35 crores. Mm -hmm. So uh, it may be a small in the context of a particular society which are 1 lakh but when you see it, it in totality 35 crores means a lot. So gradually we are uh, this, uh, um, uh, increasing the ambit and scope of our schemes mm -hmm. and gradually more and more artisans are bought under this coverage. So but uh, ultimate goal is to reach out to, to close to 4 lakh artisans which is 
difficult but not impossible. Srinagar has been declared as the UNESCO craft city. What is that craft city? I mean, what is how, how do you explain this to the co common people? So this is a program uh, which is being run by UNESCO. So UNESCO uh, uh, acknowledges the or uh, gives recognition to basic strengths of a particular uh, city. For example, in country you have Mumbai for Bollywood, you have Lucknow for uh, gastronomy, we have uh, uh, this, uh, many cities like that. Uh, some, some, some cities have been declared as music cities, some have been declared as a craft city, some have been uh, declared for a particular skill set which mm. that particular city has. So uh, when uh, we submitted a dossier uh, to UNESCO, uh, uh, the present strength of this place is its uh, skill, uh, its crafts. So uh, uh, on the basis of that dossier, wherein we highlighted uh, the diversity of the crafts, uh, the craftsmen, and the um, skills sets which we have. So, and the schemes which you know, were launched post uh, 2020 policy. So, it was on the basis of that, uh, Srinagar was declared as the UNESCO city for craft. Now, there is another development which is in pipeline is that we have even applied for declaration of Srinagar as a world craft city. World craft so, city. there is a world craft council who also. Uh, this uh, declares city as the craft city. So uh, we have already applied for that and hopefully uh, the, the results will be declared soon. We wish you all the best for that. Thank, Thank you so you. much.